here real quick and discuss with you bedding. So following on from my interview with the BBC, we discussed bedding and the lovely Roberto was explaining to me that he doesn't believe that at Christmas time people change the bedding for um, guests that are staying at their house. I was absolutely horrified because I was like, surely people do. I don't want to believe that people don't do this because who wants to sleep in a grubby bed sheet? I mean, you sweat so much during the night, like even if you don't feel it, you are for sure sweating. So I do like to wash my bed in at least every day. Um, but I just wanted to quickly show you the bedding that I've got. The reason I wanted to show you this is because it is nearly Christmas. This person here, Hayley the Christmas Elf, has not done any Christmas shopping yet, but for the good of this vlog, I just wanted to share with you some Christmas gift ideas that would be nice in terms of bedding. So this bedding I've got is from Julian Charles. I love it because I feel like it's quite wintry. So around Christmas time, I like to change my house up a bit. So my bedroom in the summer was like a really light blue. It's not light blue anymore, as you can see. I've gone for completely whitewashing it and I've just added little hues of like a dark charcoal grey, hence why I went for this bedding from Julian Charles. So the bedding itself is kind of like a black, a grey, it's kind of a silvery colour, a beige, and um, these pillowcases here, you can have them either on the white side or you can have them on this side. I like this side just because it adds an extra kind of um, colour to the room. Um, at the moment, Julian Charles have a 70% off winter sale going on. So I will add the description in the description box. Head over there if you want to buy some last minute Christmas presents. Um, because I do think like it's quite a nice gift to get bedding because it's cold, it's winter and who doesn't like a nice crisp clean bed sheet? Okay, so also from the Julian Charles website, I got myself a new duvet because it's super cold. So I just wanted to be warm. Um, so um, this is it here, it's a goose feather and down duvet, the duvet is actually on my bed at the moment but just for the sake of showing you it's a 13.5 tog double and this is the bag it comes in and my summer bed in, my summer duvet can be put back in this bag so it's not dusty so that's a dream so you get an extra bag as well and the duvet itself I don't have to have any of my radiators on because as soon as you've got that over you it is so so warm and so snuggly and it's so soft as well so that's really good I also got these pillows from the Julian Charles website as well which are really nice they are quite soft so I went for a medium one so they're not super firm but they're not too soft either because I don't want to get like a backache or a neck ache so they're a nice firmness the pillows and also I got a set of curtains to tie in with the bedding theme that I'm going for so I'm going to show you the curtains now and you can have a look and see what you think okay so the curtains that I went for are these ones they're a grey colour with a floral theme going on so these are really nice, um, I thought, to tie in with the bedding that I got. They're quite thick as well, so they don't allow much light through. So that is a really good idea. And it is nice as well when you're like trying to go to sleep because like you're just stressing out over the fact that it's a week before Christmas and you've bought nothing. So all you want to do is get under your 13.5 tog duvet and literally bury yourself under it because you don't want to acknowledge the fact that you are a terrible person because you've not done any Christmas shopping yet. The final thing that I got from Julian Charles was this lovely white throw. It's got embroidery detail on it, which I really liked. And also, again, it's really, really warm. So you can double it up to kind of turn it into a single type throw if you want. And it's perfect if you want to take it downstairs and sit on the sofa with it. Or if you don't want such a heavy duvet on you during the night, you can switch it out for that. So I really, really like this um it was a good buy so thanks Julian Charles so seeing as this is a winter bedding vlog I just wanted to share with you 
about me washing my bedding. So I do like to do this every day. It doesn't take that long. It's not that much of a chore because I do have a big washing machine. But I like to just strip the bedding down and I will put most of it on a 90 degree wash because I feel like it kills any germs or bacteria then that may be living within the bed sheets. There probably isn't, but just to err on the side of caution. I mean, sergeant safety is here. Everything is gonna be fine if you put your stuff in a 90 degree wash. Um, please do check though in the labels first because I wouldn't want you ruining any of, any of your bedding. So if it can't go on a 90 degree wash, then just check the label and put it on the wash temperature advised. Um, but as naughty as it is, I tend to, I don't throw caution to the wind at all. I'm just like, oh, it says here it can only be washed on a 30. Yeah, they're just being safe. I'll put it on a 90. And so far, I haven't had any sheets or bedding ruined, but then I do like to replace my bedding quite often. So it probably won't um, allow you a, a longer, a long lifespan of your bedding if you do wash it on a 90 because it's such a hot temperature that you're continually washing it on. So keep that in mind. But with a 70% off sale at Julian Charles, who cares? You can get things for so cheap. So um, that's really good. Thank you so much for watching my vlog again. Um, I will be back probably towards the end of the week because I don't want to ruin anyone's Christmas. But if I don't see you guys before then, I do hope you have the best Christmas ever. And now I'm going to hop foot out to the shops and grab, 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 grab whatever I can find to fill my lofty Christmas gifts.